the climate of India is strongly influenced by monsoon winds. The Arabs who had also come to India as traders named this seasonal reversal of wind system monsoon. The monsoon are experienced in the tropical area roughly between 20 degree north and 20 degree south. The duration of the monsoon is between 100 to 120 days from early June to mid September. Around the time of its arrival, normal rainfall increases suddenly and continues constantly for several days. This is known as the burst of the monsoon and can be distinguished from the pre-monsoon showers. By early June, the low pressure condition over the northern plain intensifies. It attracts the trade wind of the southern hemisphere. Those southeast trade winds originate over the warm subtropical areas of the southern oceans. They cross the equator and blow in the southwesterly direction, entering the Indian Peninsula as the southwest monsoon. The monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the Indian Peninsula generally by first week of June. Subsequently, it proceeds into two, the Arabian Sea Branch and Bay of Bengal Branch. Arabian Branch causes rainfall all along the west coast of the Western Ghat. But when it crosses the Western Ghat, it is low in moisture. Thus, Mumbai receives 187. semi of rain during the monsoon, while Pune only 160 km away and in the lee of Western Ghat receives only 50 semi. Crossing the Western Ghat, they overrun the Deccan Plateau and Madhya Pradesh, causing a fair amount of rainfall that goes on gradually decreasing. By mid-June, Arabian Sea Branch arrives over the Saurashtra Kutch and the central part of the country. The Bay of Bengal Branch moves northward into the central Bay of Bengal and is directed towards the Burmese coast and part of the southeast Bangladesh. The Arakan Hills deflect this branch, so it enters West Bengal and Bangladesh from the south and southeast. It splits into two for the Himalaya. One branch moves westward along the Ganga Plain and other branch moves towards the Brahmaputra Valley in the north and northwest. Its sub-branch strike the Garo and Khasi Hills. It is here that Mohsindram is located and its unique topographical location together with the wind direction is responsible for receiving the highest rainfall of the world. The Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal branch of the monsoon march over the northwestern part of the Ganga Plain. Delhi generally receives the monsoon showers from the Bay of Bengal branch by end of the June. By first week of July, western Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and eastern Rajasthan experience the monsoon. By mid-July, the monsoon reaches Himachal Pradesh and rest of the country. The withdrawal or retreat of the monsoon is a more gradual process. During October-November, with the apparent movement of the sun towards the south, low pressure over the northern plain become weaker. This is gradually replaced by a high pressure system. The southwest monsoon weaken and start withdrawing gradually. The withdrawal of the monsoon begin in the northwestern state of India is in early September. By mid-October, it withdraws completely from the northern half of the peninsula. The withdrawal from the southern half of the peninsula is fairly rapid. By early December, the monsoon has withdrawn from the rest of the country. During return of the monsoon, it passes over the Bay of Bengal and pick up in a moisture. Those rain laden winds called Northeast Monsoon are responsible for the winter rain in coastal Tamil Nadu. Another phenomenon associated with the monsoon is its tendency to have break in rainfall. 
The monsoon rains take place only for a few days at a time. They are interspreaded with the rainless intervals. Those breaks in monsoon are related to the movement of the monsoon axis. When the axis of the monsoon lies over the plain, rainfall is good in those parts. On the other hand, whenever the axis shift closer to the Himalayas, there are long dry spells in the plains, and widespread rain occurs in the mountainous catchment areas of the Himalayan rivers. The monsoon is known for its uncertainties. The alternation of dry and wet spells vary in intensity, frequency, and duration. While it causes heavy flood in one part, it may be responsible for drought in the other. It is often irregular in its arrival and its retreat. Hence, it sometimes disturbs the farming schedule of millions of farmers all over the country.